two of my favourite things on this planet is theatre and raving. So to be able to kind of put both of them together um, and work with the playwright that I've always wanted to work with was, was amazing. I will become a different version of myself. With a little bit of luck is about London, summer, 2001, love, music. And it follows the character Nadia and her, um, her journey really of wanting to go to uni but having to afford the lifestyle that she, she has and the ways that she had to go about doing that. But her journey and her story is very much at the heart of the UK garage scene. That's what she would, um, she would go out at the weekends, that was part of her life, her boyfriend's an MC. Um, and so the narrative and the, and the old school garage world really, really fused together. Nadja is quiet about her plans over the summer. Her mates know she's always the one with the drugs, but they never ask her how much. Know she likes to keep things hush. So it's a real fusion of, of, of music and, um, and storytelling. And so you get both. There's moments where you can rave and get down to the music, and there's, um, there's moments where you can engage with the narrative and the story. Um, I think it's really important in terms of the choices that I make as a director that I'm engaging new audiences into theatre. I want my friends who don't go to theatre to come and see this play. Um, and all the people that I've met over my years of raving, I want them to experience theatre because they would never normally go. And in that world, with tea and smoky fluorescent stages and sweaty dance floors, Nadia thinks that anything is possible. And she loves that feeling that anything is possible. The way that the audience have responded has been absolutely incredible. Like people feel free to be able to say to their mate, "We live an old school garage moment." Um, there's a character called Sam within the play, and there definitely was a Sam in the audience when we were in Margate. He was like proper and was like sharing her um, experience with her mate, going, "Oh, do you remember this? This is a tune." And so people being able to be vocal and kind of um, shout out um, and. And, and walk out and go and grab a beer if they want to and come back. Um, it's been incredible to, for, for audience to feel like they can do that and I think that's really, really important. Tanani, 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 Tanani.